Yo, what's going on guys, it's me today and today's channel I'm teaching you guys how you can get these Griffin Burrows as fast as possible and just increase the amount of money you can make because you can get more burrows, that means you'll be able to get more feathers and uh, the, the claws and then you can get the, like just get a bunch more money much faster and let's do this. So the first thing is that I'm going to talk about is basically how the event will work. So how this event works is um, Diana is left to the moon. These burrows will spawn around the map, and as you'll notice, like if you do it, they'll only spawn on grass blocks, and they won't actually spawn on like any other like stone or like regular dirt. So this means that none are gonna spawn in any of these paths in like that main hub city village area, and none are gonna be like on this mountain. There's some that'll be like on this side of it, but none will be on or inside of it so that like don't you don't you will never have to like go in the mountain so don't go checking inside or on top of it uh the next thing i want to talk about is the like when you're digging up the bros the first and fourth will never give you mobs now this means when you're digging up the first and fourth you shouldn't be prepared with your swords if you're digging up the second and third i suggest getting ready to attack whatever mob comes out so you can be like slightly faster while doing uh all your burrows the next thing I'm going to talk about is, actually I'm going to show you a demonstration, uh, I'm going to go away from the burrow because there's a thing, uh, like when you use a spade, you'll hear like different notes depending on how far away you are from. Now I'm just going to go really far away and use it. You can kind of hear, like, you'll, like you'll, you'll get used to it like the more you uh, use this, but like, as you can see, like, I, I don't exactly know how to put this, but basically like you'll, you'll be able to tell, like, look, I'm closer and it's going to be a different pitch. And then when I get really close, you can hear times, like an easy way to estimate how far you are so you don't like continue to stop and use the spade to save a bit of time with that. And next thing I want to talk about is your setup. Now I know that I am not using like a very good like setup for like damage and uh defense because I only have an uncommon griffin pet. Now, if you have a better griffin pet, then, uh, you should probably use, like, something else, but definitely get ultimate wise on your, ultimate wise 5 on your astral griffin pet, because that means that you can, uh, what do you call it, that means you can, like, you won't be using, like, a very wise setup, like I have, but, uh, or very wise dragon armor, but if you, like, aren't, you really should have, uh, ultimate wise, so you can use your, Astral Key and Teleports, because these teleports are, like, fast and stuff. But, uh, I usually use the Captain Hook, because I think it's much faster. But, like, you kind of have to, like, get up, like, a steep hill or something. Or just go up, generally. You're gonna have to use the Astral Key, like, right there. Like, I can't use the grappling Hook in that situation. Not only because I just use it, but it's just, like, easier for navigating some places. Like, you'll get used to using the Astral Key and grappling Hook together players and yeah that's really i think that's all the tips i have for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye okay editor's note here i just want to talk about one thing before i leave you guys uh i've recorded this <laughs> way too many times and just have had little mess ups so i'm just gonna like leave it in after if you watch the end of the video so basically the grappling hook is actually like re like i feel like not everyone knows how it works exactly so i'm gonna like give you guys an example and like demonstrate how it works so basically the way this uh the, the grappling hook is, is the farther you are away from the grappling hook the farther it'll launch you so if i throw it like right here it'll launch me like up mostly but if i throw it like here it'll launch me kind of like farther but if you throw it out really far it'll throw you farther but the thing that like not, a lot of people have been doing or uh, noticed really is first of all if you if you jump it actually sends you much farther and also like the farther you are since the farther you are away from it the farther it sends you it's better to uh, jump backwards so that you like are moving farther away from it as it moves away from you so you get like the optimal grappling hook when you use it if that makes sense so basically like when you use it you can travel like ridiculously fast so like watch i'm gonna cover like a bunch of area like really quickly simply because i am using the grappling hook for like its full potential basically and yeah you can use this like it's like i wouldn't i don't know if it's really faster than aote teleporting but it's definitely like pretty fast i'd say 
like when you back, or at least must much faster. Like I'm gonna go, uh, like I like you see, I've already gone like, across the island in like what like 10, 15 seconds or something, maybe like 20. I don't know, but it's it's pretty fast. All I can, that's all I can really tell you. So make sure you're using this when you're going far distances, and it can really help you out. You know, and that's really all I have to say now. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.